Hello there. Welcome to the 354th day of making Songbringer. Today I'm prioritizing. Yesterday I had to take the day off because I stayed up till 6 a.m. getting the last beta update up on Steam. So I'm kind of getting back in my little rhythm here. Trying to do things that don't keep me up till 6 a.m. so I can keep a good flow of energy and everything. Um, today I'm going to be prioritizing these next... This update, I really want to um, focus on fixing some things that are in there and, and filling out the things that I've already started. There's there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's the intro that's coming along, and I really need to do a lot more scenes for that. But there's so many other things I've got to do. All these un all these ones here without colors, they're all important things. So my idea here is to, I need to prioritize. I need to get this whole list of stuff uh, kind of organized. Yep, pri I'm prioritizing. That's right. Prioritizing. So I'm going to create a new list. This one's going to be uh, my what I'm working on like right now. List. And I'm going to do something different with today's priorities. I've So far I've done green things which are sort of like easy. And um, yellow things are sort of important, and then orange things are like really important, and then purple things are things I'd love to do but I can't do now. So I don't, I don't really like that. It's not very simple. So what I'm gonna do is um, make things really simple. What I all I want to care about on my priorities here, on my prioritizing these. How's life? Life's good, man. Life's great. How about you, man? How's life? How's life? Yeah, so my idea here is to take the ones that I know are so easy, like I could get done in five minutes, color all those a certain color, and then everything else uncolored. What's up, Arcane? Yeah, I'm early and I'm not going to stream long. I only got about an hour to stream today. We got a an event tonight. We're throwing a party here at our place. We're watching Game of Thrones with some friends and stuff, so I, I don't have much time to stream. Pushing. Oh my god, this is really important. But it's not fast. Okay, so I need to work on... I need to choose a color for... Oh, you can create your own labels, huh? What would it be like if I had like a high priority? Waiting for the following weeks to show my thesis to some game studios. Whoa, Pedro, cool, man. Are you invited? Everybody's invited. Of course, come on over. Please, please, can I come? Wow, they even got no color as an option. This light blue color looks all right, I guess. Um, what's this? Let's call create a thing called fast. That item I think could be really fast, but no, that's not right. This is not a fast item. This is um. I guess we'll do dark blue. What's up, bitches? What's up, hard boiled egg? How you doing, man? I'll just be able to watch, oh, tomorrow? Yeah, oh, it's not for you, it's not today for you guys? Oh, it's probably late at night, huh? Yeah, it's probably like in the middle of the night for you. Let's do this crazy pink color, this is great. This is a fast, like I want this, no way. Yeah, blue should be the, like things I gotta do. Pink is the one that's like fast, this is like so fast. And then this one is like not fast, but important. Vlad! What's up, Vlad? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm today I'm prioritizing. Yeah, so pink is fast, blue is important.
You're scared to do so now? I'm, dude, I'm scared to look at it too. Look how many things are on my list that I haven't even put priorities on. This is all important stuff. Like, this has got to get done soon. But I'm not even done. I'm not even to the top of the things that I had prioritized before. Look at that. How many things are on this list? I think we scrolled through at least 40. Whatever. That's what I'm doing today. I'm prioritizing. You been playing? Nice. How is it, man? How do you like it? Have you? Did you encounter Zero? Did you go to into his crazy cave with no sword? You tried to chat with me. You did. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh man, when was that? When I was pushing the new update. Oh, that was like 5 a.m. in the morning for me, and no wonder I was bleary-eyed. You couldn't. Why not, Blood? There was no path to the cave? What do you mean? <laughs> How's that horny guy doing? Uh, he's great, dude. Have you tried it, Hardbulb? Yeah, it was it was around 5 a.m. Which is late for me. I was, yeah, I was sleepwalking. There were bushes blocking the only visible path. Uh, what was your world seed? What was your world seed, bud? I'm gonna go to it right now. This week you have some time? Cool. Awesome, man. Yeah, really looking forward to thoughts on on uh, on Zero and hit those alternate style gameplay style dungeons. All right, let's do this. Uh, lady, bloody, bloody. So that's five letters, huh? Just let it fill in the last letter. Uh, let's make sure this one. This is C, C joking. Okay, bottom left of the map. Wait a minute. Bottom left of the map. Let's guess it's four zero zero. Whoops. Couple things I always forget. Put the headphones on here so there's good quality sound. And turn off this stuff that I was doing to record screenshots and GIFs and stuff. All right. Yeah, here he is. Oh, there are bushes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look at that. Let's fix this right now. Yeah. Oh, you found the cacti, but you already. Yeah. So, blood. The new thing is that you. Well, I won't ruin it for you, but you get cactus. Can you get little cactus pouches, and those allow you to carry cactuses. Um. But you found the cacti, but it didn't. Oh, how did you find it? Where did you find a cacti? Did you, did you find it from an enemy? Did you find it somewhere in the world? Yeah, so where, where did you actually find those cacti, though? <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, this is the pattern um, for... Pattern... Entrance, I think it's 03. Here's where it does this circle-y pattern, and here's where it puts some bushes. Oh, it's supposed to do the exit path here. Mm. 
Let's see what these exit paths are supposed to be like. Oh, you hit some trees. Some trees gave you that. Okay. See, look at this. This is like all open path. See, that would get rid of all of the bushes if I did the open paths. Where does it give the player the cactus from the trees? I forgot to do that. What's up, the gaming artist? Hello. That's the reward item, and it does check cactus containers for that one. Oh, here it is, jostle item. Oh, it's the jostle item. I'm sorry, blood. You found a bug, man. Here we go. Let's fix this right now. So trees will never, trees won't be able to give you the cactus until you've you found. Um. Hey, this was broken for the bomb too. Anyways. So we need the ge the player's um, gear. Auto ref hero equals game scene hero. Uh, and one last thing. In every dungeon there were a room or two where all doors were locked and I couldn't get out. No enemies on screen? Oh, that's a puzzle room. Yeah, that's a puzzle room. You have to solve the puzzle to get out. Oh, but, oh, oh, Vlad, I know what happened to you, though. You probably didn't, you, because you couldn't get to level two, you didn't have the lighter, and you got locked into a room. Oh, man. Okay, let me, let me add that to the list, too. Man, there's a lot of things here. Uh, so, the game shouldn't lock you in a room until, uh, if the, if the solution to the puzzle is you're needing the lighter, yeah, okay, um... Game can lock the player in a room even though they don't have the lighter. There's a simple solution to that, I'm sure. I know, I know, blood. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's a real. That's a bad bug. I forgot about that. I I thought about that before I released it, right? And I made it so level one never ever has any of those kind of puzzles. But I forgot that a pl the player can get to like level three and four and five, and not have gotten through level two, which is the the first um swordless dungeon to get the lighter. So that's my fault. You found a lot of good bugs, Blood. Thank you, man. But sorry that they're they're such showstoppers for you. Okay, so let's fix this jostle item thing. So yeah, if you when you jostle a tree, you need to have a cactus container to be able to get a cactus, and you need to have a bomb container to be able to get a bomb. It's one little bug fixed. Let me check my work. Hero, right, jostle item. If random's less than 0.9 and you have at least one cactus container, you can drop a cactus. If you have at least a bomb container, you can drop a bomb. No problem. Okay, there's. <clears throat> I thought of maybe completing the dungeons in order and then I'll have what I need, but I was eager to get in. I know, you got locked twice, man. Oh, it sucks. It's because of this this bush bug, but I'll fix the bush bug right here right now too. 
Um, I think there's one other thing here that I'm work. I was working on that I gotta check in before I. Oh yeah, the kid is already running this plug. Okay, so I noticed that I I wrote some code to check and see if Songbringer is already running. Because on Mac, I was somehow getting this situation where I would run it and it would run two copies of Songbringer every time. And I was like, what is going on? But anyways, it failed when I, when I ran it in release mode. So, um, checking if already running on Mac is broken in release mode. That's a high priority one. All right, and I can go to kit services for the Mac. Take this out for a second because I got the bug listed and now I got a, an atomic check-in. Yeah, okay. Jostling trees and bushes doesn't give cactus or bomb unless you have containers there. So now you won't be confused. If you don't have a cactus container and you get the cactus and it doesn't give you the item, you won't be, that situation won't happen. Until you get the cactus container, the cactus pouches, which are gonna become a very valuable item. Cactus pouches are gonna be really fun to place throughout the world. Okay, the bug that we were just working on was the bushes there it is pattern 03 so if I comment this out it won't do any bushes so I'm just gonna do that to make sure that I'm in the right place editing the right code you know verify things so I don't spend half an hour trying to fix this bug when I'm working on the wrong code, basically. Save myself from looking like an idiot and feeling like one, too. Okay, let's turn off those open paths, which those aren't gonna work. For fixing this bug, open paths are a little too wide there. But the exit path, did you watch the rest of the sequel? Yes, that I did! Yes, Hardboiled, I watched them all. I watched every single sequelitis video and I loved them, dude. I loved them so much. And they really did, they hammer home a very good import, important points about game design. What's up, Valveware? What's up, Barrelelli? Am I finishing the final details? No, I'm, I'm far from finishing the final details. At least a few months before we're actually on the final details. Yeah, I liked them so much, Hardboiled. Thank you so much for recommending them. And so many, when I finally posted on Twitter about them, everybody else was like, oh, sequelitis. Best thing ever. Okay, so that's verified. First, I just took out the bushes that were right here. There's some bushes here. There's also some bushes here which block the path completely. So how can I make this so it doesn't block the path ever again? Oh, I know. Around the bushes I can place some empty. Just guarantee. But that's only if it's near the exit path. Oh, it's the guy from Game Grumps? Oh, I didn't know that guy was from Game Grumps. Oh, cool. And uh, yeah, I think you told me to send Sombrero to him and he's on my list, so... Yeah, when it, when it comes time to, f to finally market the, the game and stuff for the final release, I'll definitely get in touch with him. Or I'll attempt to. So there were some bushes right here that were blocking the path. And if I placed on the outside of the bush closest to... The exit path. Hmm. 
The exit path. It goes and checks. For example, if you're checking the north path, I guess I could make a function called is any exit path and that would check for every single exit path and that would be a good little function to have anyways. And then I could use that is exit is in any exit path to check and see if the bushes are in line with any sort of in, in exit path instead of just the exit path for their current quadrant. Let's see if that works. Area.h This is, is exit path that checks an exact quadrant. Is any exit path that checks one quadrant based on x, y? Checks checks in a specific direction. And this one checks all quadrants or checks all directions. Okay. Is any exit path? for each direction. This is a simple function. I like simple functions. Yay. For each D. Hey, what's up, J? Yup. Hello. So if this is exit path in this direction, return true. Let's run. Let's run. I keep typing retron. Retron true or else retron false. I wish you could just type retron. I wish it would correct my spelling. I, I'm too lazy. Are you an engineer or something programming related? I am, yes. Yes, I am primarily an engineer, a software engineer. All right, cool. Now let's use this function. Let's do is any exit path. Actually, we just look it up again. This is any exit path x, y. There, so now it won't put any bushes on any exit path. <laughs> Vlad's an engineer too. Lots of, lots of people that watch this stream are engineers as well. Many engineers. Programmers of sorts. Look at that, it's fixed blood. You can get through now. I hope this fixes it for almost every situation. Okay, I'm gonna check this one in. Oh, you're quoting me? <laughs> right? I think we actually have a quote thing now. Bafu has a quote thing. Aralel, you're a mechanical engineer? Cool. 
I got a lot of respect for you guys. Mechanical, hardware engineers. You guys empower me to do what I do. I know you gotta wait till the next update, but thankfully, Blood, I have been updating a lot. I update like once every 10 days about. This last update was a longer one, but. You're a material engineer. Cool. All right, so let's check this one in. And then work on these priorities. Is there any exit path? Good, man, that's a nice simple solution. It worked well. Didn't have to remove the bushes entirely or anything. Fix bushes blocking zero's entrance. You will. You'll definitely find more bugs, I'm sure. That 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 uh that other bug where you have the let's fix that one right now too, actually. I'm in this mood where I just want to like fix everything I can. Let's do this. I'm gonna do this one right now. The game can lock the player in a room even though they don't have the lighter. For example, if I was in dungeon three, let's find a I'm gonna find a puzzle in dungeons. Actually, I've already got this output. So if I go to dungeon three or four, where's a puzzle? A, A is a puzzle. So right there, well, that's just north of the entrance. All right, cool. So dungeon three. It doesn't allow me to stop anymore on the, the elevator. It used to like wait until you stopped. That's another bug. All right. Dungeon three. Walk straight north. Yeah, okay, so if I'm in this room, this is probably one of the rooms that Vlad got locked in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take away the lighter because you don't necessarily have the lighter at this point in the game. You could have got the bombs, skip level two, go to level three, you're stuck in here. What the hell? Gotta get some frags, all right, man. <laughs> Thanks for not inviting me. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, like I already don't have the lighter anyways, great. So I should be totally stuck in this room. Because I have no lighter. And these things require the lighter. Oh, I know what to do. So, if the, if the room just shouldn't be locked, it should not lock itself. If you're, if you're in this room, this room is entirely based on things you have to light on fire, and you don't have the lighter, or the fire top hat, or any kind of fiery thing, then the game, sh the game should just unlock this level. It shouldn't lock you in here. Let's, I'm gonna do that. That's, that's a pretty simple solution to this problem. Uh, what's up, Silly Billy Bear? Yes, Arielelli. The game is available for testing right now. If you want to, you can pre-order the game, and then you you basically pre-order the beta version, and then you can play the beta version right now. And all of it, all that's available at songbringer.com/pre-order. I'll post that little link in the tw in the chat.
You did. You destroyed all the rocks, right? I know they take a while to destroy. I think I'm. I think I make make those a little um, a little like less have less hit points, so that you can destroy those rocks a little faster. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm making it so the the puzzles um, do not lock the room if you already have. Okay, uh, there's this one bit of code where it checks to see if there's all the puzzle. Um, where is it? Collision. Oh, it's collision activate puzzle. That's right. Okay, so checking for this flag. Collision system. Yeah, here's where it checks to see if a puzzle is compl is incomplete. All right, so this should probably become its own function right here because I'm going to expand it a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty by putting all the code right here in this function. Um, I'm going to grab the current hero. We need to look at his equipment and see if he's got fiery stuff. Because if it's an activate puzzle and it's an unlit pillar, which shit, I don't know how am I going to do that. Uh, I need to I need to know I need to know how about unlit pillars. All right, our boiled, yeah, man. Got to get some of that rest. It's good seeing you, man. It's really good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah. Did I say current? Grab the current? Oh, grab current hero. This is true, man. You gotta look at his equipment. Okay, so I need to look at the flags that the unlit pillar has, and it might need its own flag or something so that I know that this is a fiery thing. Uh, so that's in entities.txt. Here's the data and stuff for an unlit pillar. Unlit fire. Now, the unlit fire is the thing that has the collision activate puzzle. Is that right? No? Where is this activate puzzle at? Oh, do I add it in code? Do I do that, really? Oh yeah, it adds, a, it adds an unlit pillar tile. Oh, this is, a, this is the perfect place right here to check if the player has the stuff that it needs. And then it activates, adds the activate puzzle flag. Yeah, okay. So much better than putting it in in a collision system. I'm messing that all up. The unlit pillar tile already knows that it's a fiery thing. So, so why not put the code here? So if flags and puzzle... All right, so if the player, <laughs> let's call this has fiery equipment. Bull has fiery equipment equals if hero dot gear dot count. Okay, item lighter. Um, it's greater than zero. Or hero dot gear dot count. Okay, item, is it fire sword? Yeah, fire stuff. And so if we have the fire sword, this is becoming a quite a, a long function here. I think I'm gonna actually make this a function of gear. That way gear, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make a gear component function for this. We'll call this has fiery equipment. <laughs> or has fire. Has he found fire?
Hell, what's it called? Fire, find fiery equipment. And all it does is look through and see if there's any fiery stuff. Or can light fire. Can light fire, that would, that would return a boolean. And I'm thinking in, in maybe someday in the future I might actually want to know what fiery equipment he particularly has. So that's why I'm calling it find fiery equipment or whatever. So it returns an item type. Or is hot. <laughs> is hot's really nice and short. I like that. As fiery equipment. Just packing heat. That's a great one. Oh. Oh. Oops. Find. All right, so I'll make a cons. I'll make a vector vector for this cons vector item type. Actually, static. No, no cons. Cons vector item type. Okay, fiery items. The other day at the office, we argued for thirty minutes about an internal thing's name that no one even sees. Right? <laughs> oh man. I do that myself. I'll argue with myself for a long time about what to name stuff. What's the what's the most readable name? K okay, item lighter. K okay, item fire sword. K okay, item firebomb. The thing about the firebomb though is you need to check and see. Oh, the fire blink does not work yet, too. Okay, item. Was it, what, were the, what were the last ones? Fire top hat. Bomb, blink, top hat, sword, lighter. These are all the things you can light stuff on fire with. If this count item is greater than zero, return true. Otherwise, return false. Okay, now I'm gonna make this a put this at the top here. A little constant vector k fiery items, and now we've got to check as fiery item. Not high, has fiery. Find fiery. Oh yeah, this is return item. And this is return K okay, item none. Beer. Okay, now I can go back to the function where it's creating the unlit pillar tile, which is the puzzly thing. And we can see if the player has the fire equipment. I was tired and bored, so I called the function ejaculate data on screen instead of draw data. <laughs> yes, that's great. It's great. It's good that, that that the legend of that is still still living. It's still in the code base. Okay, so now I'm doing one last boolean. Has fire if um, 
fiery item is not equal to K item none. And uh, fiery item is not equal to K item firebomb or it is equal to firebomb and the player has firebombs. So count K item bomb is greater than zero. Okay, so this is gonna become sort of a multi-line logic here because we need to also check if fiery item is not equal to the blink, which does not actually give you any fire yet, but it will eventually. So I don't wanna lock the player in the room if they do have the fire blink at this point. So we'll just go like that. Now, after all that logic is done, we can go and check has fire here before it adds the collision activate puzzle flag to the unlit fire. So there's the pillar, there's the fire entity waiting to be lit, and here's where we give it the puzzle flag. Okay, and now, well, after all that's said and done, I just want to do a break point here and make sure that all this logic works. So I've got the player in a position right now where he's stuck between fire and a hot place. He's stuck without his lighter. So fiery item should be K item none, which is good. It's none. Great. And then has fire should be if fire item is not equal to none. Okay, so no, they're not gonna have fire. Huh, why did it get to the second line of this? Oh yeah. Okay. So it's not gonna add that. Great. And I'll see if that worked. And then I'll play around with what items the player has to make sure each combination of fiery stuff works as I intended it to. Okay, cool. So it just look it just unlocked the door. It locked the door and then unlocked the door. That's all right. As long as it unlocks the door, so the player's not stuck in there. All right, so if I have the fire blink, instead of the lighter, wait, I don't even have the lighter. Okay, so if I have the fire blink, and I step through this logic, Bool has fire. I'm gonna make this clear, and more steppable. If fiery item is equal to K fire bomb, and here in a geared account, item bomb is less than or equal to zero, then has fire equals false. This is way easier to debug. I can step through this and go, oh, this part failed, this part didn't fail. If fire item is K, K fire blink, has fire, false for now. Okay. Easier to debug. Let's do this now. I should have fire blink and it should set has fire false right there. And I can't I can't stream for much longer today. 40, 45. Okay, I got 15 minutes left though. Alright. Fiery item should be no fire blink. That's fine. So so far we do have fire. And then here it sets the fire blink false. So it's not gonna give those those puzzly flags. Great. And if I let this go. There's only four of these pillars, so four time, cool. Uh, yeah, this time the door should be unlocked again. Sweet. Okay, next check. I want to make sure if the player has fire bombs, but no bombs. The fire bomb ability, but he doesn't actually have any bombs on him. It shouldn't allow that.
Yeah, you know, you know what? I just decided one more thing too to make this make this right. All this logic is great, but it shouldn't just be here in the unlet pillar tile function. This stuff here should all be in a gear component function. So we need both. We need both the things. What do we got? Is packing heat is hot? Can light fire? I like can light fire. We need both these functions. We need the find fire equipment that might be necessary as its own function, and then bool can light fire. That's that's a little more. It checks the equipment to see if it actually will work to light fire. This is one of those things when you get closer. When I get closer to the end of a project, I want to make sure all the codes is is rock solid as possible. Putting things in small functions and places because. The more dirty your code gets at the end of a project, the more of a headache it is. It's like because you're dealing with bugs all the time. And most of the time you solve bugs by making smaller functions, you know, smaller little things and making things responsible for their own things and then making sure that is doing its job well. You know, it's the Unix mentality. Gear component. Can light fire. So fiery item is this find fiery equipment has fire. Return has fire. All right, great. Now it's all, it's not only is it debuggable, I can step through this easily. But it's also compartmentalized. I've placed this code in its, in its correct place. This is where it belongs. So and now this is really simple one-liner bit of code right here too. If game scene dot hero dot can light fire. Oh no, gear dot can light fire. Boom. There. Should keep checking it though. Okay, so I've got bomb zero, fire bomb one. I should not be able to light fire. And if I step into this method, yeah, nice. So my fire equipment is the fire bomb, and but it's going to turn false right here. Yes, good. We've got false there. Oh, and this should be an else. Return false. So it's not going to give it that flag. Great. So it should lock and then unlock the doors. Which I'm going to fix as well. It shouldn't always, it shouldn't lock the door and then unlock the door on you. It's kind of silly that it does that. Cool. That worked. And then let's say I do have bombs. I'm gonna turn off my debugging because I'm pretty confident that's working fine. Programming is better than prioritizing. <laughs> it's definitely, it's nice to just tackle the bugs, you know, because I, I would have added three things to the list here today, but I just got, I technically, I guess I added three things to the list and then took three things off. Okay, so it's it's like, oh, yo, you got bombs, dude. I'm gonna let you stay here. But I only have one bomb. I can't light them all on fire. And it didn't work to light them on fire anyways. Okay, for, it, for now, the fire bombs are not working. So I'm just commenting that out. For now, fire bombs don't light stuff on fire. That is, this is technically a bug, but I'm going to make sure it doesn't. Do I use state machines? Yes, I do. I'm using behavior trees, which are a subset of state machines. So that, what that allows me to do is that instead of writing code for every enemy and every AI in this game, I write behavior trees where it's sure essentially scripts, but they're they're technically finite state machines.
Yeah, so it doesn't lock me in with the bombs. But it will lock me in if I have the lighter. Right? So I have the lighter. And this door is totally locked. Now if I equip the lighter. Let's me out. Cool. I think that's good. That's a bit of code that could be checked in now and one thing checked off the list. Oh, I forgot about that. Get add this Coco City 389H. I changed some stuff in Coco City's header to make thing my my game compile faster. Touring foo. Very hard puzzle. I know, right? They're very simple puzzles at first. These are I all I all I wanted to do was get the foundation for puzzles in there so far. So that's why there's not any complex puzzles yet. It's just the foundational work. Like like all the stuff I had to do to like place the puzzles in the world. Like where does the puzzle belong? You know, how do you place a puzzle in a procedurally generated dungeon? So that stuff's done. And now that it's done, and these little bugs like this are fixed. I can go and focus on creating some more complex puzzles and also meta puzzles, puzzles that take several different areas to solve. Okay, so what I did in general here was I simply just, when I create an unlit pillar tile, instead of just always adding the puzzle flag, it checks to see if, it, if the hero can light fire before it gives it that puzzle flag, which is used to determine if the, the doors should lock. The doors should lock basically if there's no if there's any remaining puzzle items or there's any remaining enemies and the area has the lockable flag blah 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 so find fire equipment checks its fiery items returns it can light fire checks that equipment cool this is a good check-in menopause <laughs> I said meta puzzles but yeah meta meta puzzles Mana puzzles? Okay, this is don't lock the player in a puzzle room. In a fire puzzle room if they don't have fire. And look, I can actually check that one off the list. Okay, and I think there's actually time for me to finish some prioritizing. So what I was doing was making these colors. I want to do two colors. One color is where it's a really fast item. I know I can finish it really quickly. It sounds gross. I'm gonna change these. This blue one is what I want for the fast things. And then purple, I think, should be like, has to be done. Important or fast there. It's prioritizing, that's right. But what do I mean with prioritizing? Trello, yes, Trello. Trello, that's what I'm working on today. Okay, so yeah, this I got this set up so the the purple one is something important. The blue thing is something I, I can do fast. Maybe green should be fast. I don't know. I just want to change up the colors. Right now I've got all these greens and yellows and stuff. All right, so this one pushing. This is not a, a fast thing. i got to get rid of this label. How do I get rid of a label? Oh, just take it off. This one's important. Pushing. This is going to be a thing to solve puzzles. You can push things and solve puzzles and stuff. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go through all these unlabeled ones, and I'm just going to make either purple, which is important, or blue, which is fast. Yeah, there you go, Arcane. Good, good thinking. Yes, I'm going to associate that in my mind. Blue is Sonic fast. Blue is 
Blues for fast because of Sonic. Sonic too. Okay, it doesn't wait until the hero stops to activate elevators. That would be hella fast to fix. I could get that done in less than five five minutes. Like a few of the bugs we solved today. So that was a fast one. Um, checking if it's already running on Mac. That's also a fast one. Sanic! The Meditation Fractals. This is something I want to do to make the game look really cool. Um, this one is, ni is neither important or fast. It's more of an art thing. I'm actually going to... Well... Uh, it'd be so cool to do, but I just can't do it right now. I guess I guess I'm gonna leave things uncategorized if I don't know how to do what to do with it. Cliff tiles. Oh yeah, these cliff tiles. This is a fixed one or fast one. A fixed one. That's fast. Blue holes in the mountains. This one also should be fairly fast to fix. I think I can get that done in less than 15 minutes. Verlock clearer that the spiders are dying off or a new wave is spawning, so you don't question whether it's beatable, which is something that can happen, right? In the Verlock rooms with all the spiders and all that, if it's it's kind of a hard thing if you don't know how to beat that room, if you don't know what's going on. So I need to make it clear what's going on with the Verlock. That's not a fast thing. That's gonna take me. That's important, but it's just not fast. Okay, don't show clock on an inventory. Do show the clock on the HUD and permadeath. That's just to be clear about what time, how, why is time important? Some people have questioned whether um, the time on the on the min or on the when you click the inventory, you get into inventory, it shows you the time of the game. Um, some people have questioned whether that is game time or whether that like it's the time of day in the world or whatever. So I want to make that clear what that is and why you would care about it and all that. That is also a fast item. I can get that done really quickly. Okay, Jib, Jib. Making Jib actually playable. Putting him as controller too. This is not a fast item. It's a somewhat fast item actually, but it's, it's more important than fast. Jib either pathfinds or has red blue skill, right. So right now Jib can like go through walls and stuff. And I was thinking that when he goes through the walls, I could just make him do sort of like a, he shifts into like red and blue and he looks like he's teleporting or whatever for a second. So he kind of has this skill where he can actually move through walls or just make him pathfind. Looks like everything's going to end up in fast. A lot of these items are quick items, you know, and when I'm, when I'm like ripping off all these items, doing my playthroughs and stuff like that, a lot of them are quick things. Um, so I can, pro I, you know, if I focus, I could probably get 20 of these fast things done in one day, which is great. I mean, there's a shitload of items on this list. They won't even show me because they're not colored. Um, Jib either pathfinds or has a red blue skill. That's the, uh, yeah, that's going to be a, an important item. It's not going to be fast to fix that, except for if I give him the red blue skill. But even that's not quite going to be fast. So yeah, I want Jib to have a defensive item, some kind of defensive item, eventually. That's just important. Not fast. Oh, I forgot about one thing I gotta do here. Um, finish uh, the intro scene, scenes, all the art, the cutscenes. Finish intro cutscene. That's important, but not fast. Uh, yeah, oh, so showing the player that you can destroy the stone pillars with bombs. Somehow, not not being obvious at all. I, I really do not want to be obvious because much of this game is about exploration and solving puzzles and figuring things out for yourself, not being hand-holded by a freaking game. But nonetheless, it would be, be nice if there was some little subtle clue that you could destroy those stone pillars with your bombs. A less important label, right? Yes, it's not. Important is not the negative of fast.
but I just, I, all I want to do when I see this list is I want to know which ones I can get done quickly and which ones I have to do. So really all I want in this list is just two things. If I have even one more thing, it will be, it will be, it will create a choice in my mind. It will create too many choices in my mind and I won't be able, I won't get through these as fast. That's true. You don't even need the important label. That's what this one is right here. The meditation fractals. It's not important. It's not fast, but it's something I'd love to do. So that's why I'm just leaving it blank. So there is, there is technically a third thing. It's the blank thing. But I like that it's blank, so I don't even look at it. I can just overlook it for a moment, focus on all these other things first. So showing that bombs can destroy some pillars, not fast, but important. Uh, settings being available from the pause menu, that's important. Players need that, not fast. Inventory shows that you can rebind. That's fast and it's important. But I'm just putting fast. So I don't want to confuse myself. Remember last button assignments for items. Oh, that's so important. This is so important and it's, you know what? I'm going to start throwing things on the, the current list. Remembering last buttons. This is so important. Inventory shows that you can rebind. That's also super important. Stuff I've got to get done like right now. Oh, this is important. This is also something that's got to get done soon. All right, a scout NPC that tells you how awesome the top hat is and how you how to throw things diagonal. Some people don't know how to throw the top hat diagonally, or they question if it is even possible. So I want to make sure that's just a little clear. That's also that's really not that important nor fast. Water fills in to keep you inside the drop mini boss. You have to the hat switch to get out. This is important. I want to show the I want to show the player that the top hat can how the top hat can be used and and to cause the player to think and explore and play with the top hat when they first get it. This is something I want to do. So when you when you first fight that drop mini boss, I want some wa instead of there being uh, wooden pillars that come up. It's just going to be water that fills in, or you know what? This doesn't even have to be water that fills in. It could just be still done with the the. I have to hit a switch with top hat to get out of drop mini boss screen. That's basically it all it is. It doesn't have to be water. Just somehow show the player how to use the top hat or let them learn how to use the top hat. Okay, yeah. Jib clear about taking damage, possibly faster you're getting up. That's really fast. Story items for when you first scan something, the first time Jib dies, being scanned by drones in the first sword cave, getting the first diamond, all these little things that uh, that happen in the game that you, you almost take advantage, you know, you take take for granted. I want them to be a little, just a little clearer that it's happening, you know, like what is what is Jib doing when he scans somebody? That's important but not fast and also has to be done soon. I'm going to call this just soon. Soon. These are things I'm doing soon. I don't know about the word soon. Maybe more like now. Let's argue about this for 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, blink sooner. Oh, this would be so sweet. I really want the blink to be sooner. But okay, so the blink right now, the reason the blink is so deep in the game and far away from the beginning of the game is that the blink orb is very powerful. It can warp you over anything. So I want it to be a little less powerful at first. So the blink can be used as like a dodge at first. Like it doesn't warp you over things, but it warps you to the side really quick. So you can use it as like a dodge roll. 
And then you get level two blink orb and you can start teleporting over stuff. So it's just a more flexible item that you get sooner in the game and it makes the game more fun. I think this would be super awesome. Because that's what's lacking so far. You get a lot of like weapony items and things like that that allow you to, to fuck shit up. But you don't really get anything that allows you to dodge stuff and, and you know. That would be really cool. Uh, taller sky and water. That's important. Visually important. Vel's Cave, the mysterious water of the broken cryo machine. Also important, not fast. Something I gotta do soon. Taller sky and water also soon. The blink sooner, man, I wanna try that. I wanna try that really soon. Different things happening at night. I can't wait to do that. No, it's, it's not important though. It's not fast. Dialogue less abrupt. Oh yeah, that's important. The dialogue just like starts all of a sudden in places and stuff and that's just gotta get better. Story zoom on to notable things. That has to do with story items for scanning things. Refine Brutus's dialogue. It's pretty fast. That's also story related. Uh, consider shrinking the size of the first green area. And make bombs required to leave a green or a sand. That's very important. Could take a while though. Gotta get done soon. Finishing the roads. Important. Not now. The snaky things are hard to see at night. I know. There's a lot of things that are hard to see at night, which I, I'm. It almost needs. I almost need like a kind of blanket solution for every enemy to be able to see things better at night, or maybe just make things brighter. I might need to make the night actually a little brighter. What do you think? Should I make the the night overall just a little brighter? Would that help? Yeah, totally. When they spawn next to the entrance. That's the biggest part, is when you spawn next to the entrance, huh? And and especially, it happens to me in the daytime, too, because some enemies are dark at first. That's actually something. Maybe I should just do that. Don't make enemies dark for the first second or so of an area. I'm gonna try that because right now the enemies they they're actually darker whenever you first walk onto a screen they're actually at half their tone so they're like they look kind of gray or dark or whatever and that what that makes them really hard to see I, it happens to me in the daytime like I'm saying I'll run into an enemy in the day because they're darker if just for the first second yeah it was an eye strain too okay Let's do this. I'll call this a. This is all related. Fix eye strain. Don't make enemies dark for the first second or so of an area. And increase the brightness a bit for nighttime. This is important. And yeah, that's definitely something I should do now. Or soon. Whatever. Overworld landmarks. This is gonna be cool. I really want to do some like di like crash crash spaceships, just other stuff that makes it like a, a landmark place where you find on the overworld. So it makes it a little less repetitive. Like there, the waterfalls already do, are kind of landmarks. The lakes are landmarks. The there's other stuff that's landmarky, but there's really no. I guess there's the big trees too, but I just need more of them. Uh, not fast. Oh, the life container puzzles. There's life containers. I want to put them all throughout the overworld and little tiny puzzles to solve to get them. Important. Got to get done soon. Whew, there's still a lot of stuff left to do here and I actually got to stop streaming. We got an important day. Yeah, I'm already 10 minutes over the time I said I would be. All right, so anyways, I got to get going. 
And I, I guess I'll have to fix this all stuff later. We're having a party today. Everybody's welcome. Come on over. You want? Uh, we're watching Game of Thrones tonight. But what do you use to make enemies darker? I just use color. So Arleli, the uh, the sprite, the game engine I'm using is a 2D sprite based game engine. Well, it's it's 3D now too, but um, it's a 2D sprite, mostly a 2D sprite based engine, and I just color. I can color anything. I can take a current sprite and color it a little bit in code, right? So I'm using the, using purely code to change the artwork a little bit. The evening colors are a bit unsettling, really. How how so? Yeah, here's a great example of a room. So when I walk onto this screen, see he's dark and then he's light. And I'll even go to the daytime so you can see. Cool. Yeah, so if I walk straight up to this room, I'm gonna walk onto the screen and he's gonna be dark. And then he'll turn light. See that guy, he's right here. He's dark, he's light. Yeah, so oh, so that's it for today's stream. Um, and But I will be streaming probably tomorrow and probably most of the days of next week. And I'm gearing up for another Steam update next Friday-ish, Thursday, Friday-ish. So I'm going to I'm gonna focus on fixing as many of these bugs and stuff as I can this week. And then get another update up on Steam for like this Friday. So by next weekend, there will be another version of Songbringer people can play and stuff. So that's it for today's stream, you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you appreciate it. Thanks, Blood. We'll see you, man.